Welcome to day one here at the HubSpot uh, inbound conference all the way over in Boston. We are gonna do our daily vlogs so that you guys can get the intel of what's going on inside so you don't have to be here. So let's get started for day one here at inbound. What are we doing, Dommy? Take a look. Let's do it. We are looking forward to free stuff, merch and swag. Oh, uh, also knowledge and relationships and networking and swag. All right, so we announced today that uh, AI is getting brought in even more and more to HubSpot. So uh, we're here at the moment uh, at, uh, I guess it's the demo spot for all of the uh, hubs that we've got. So as we heard today, uh, obviously you can spin up a web page just through AI. We've obviously filtered it all through social tools, even on the mobile app as well, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna take a little bit of a walk around and see what's possible and what's happening, and maybe chat to a few people about the new upcoming changes and product updates. So we're at the AI stand and whatnot, as we can see here. Uh, one of the things that got uh, released, I think, was the fact that AI can start to put together a bit of a campaign for you. So if we look at it like this way, is that uh, if we're going through and uh, producing a landing page, we can get AI to write that, but we'll also at the same time help us actually go through and put together the Google ads and then write those ads for you. I reckon it's pretty cool. I'm a bit, I'm a bit uh, dubious about the whole AI thing, but I reckon this part's actually pretty good. If you're an entry-level person that just wants to get a whole bunch of assets out of the door to actually get stuff moving and then start to optimize, it's actually not a bad way to get started. I am at the HubSpot User Group store with Oscar, the man, the myth, the legend. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. It's uh, good to be here and see you in person. I think I only ever see you on Slack, so... Only ever on <laughs> Slack, right? I mean, I only see almost anybody on Slack. <laughs> like, you know, co-workers, colleagues, and HubSpotters, and hub leaders included. You know? Awesome. It's good to, good yeah. to meet you in person anyway. Yeah. 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 Um, for those that are playing at home, yeah. uh, everyone playing at home, do you want to tell everyone, I guess, about like the HubSpot User Groups and like... I guess globally, what yeah. you what you're doing and what you're rolling out across the world, yeah, will continue awesome. to improve and how we do it. No, yeah, great question. You know, so like, what are hugs? Yeah. Right? yeah. So affectionately, our HubSpot user groups hugs. Uh, there are community-led opportunities for folks to learn, connect, network all around our HubSpot platform and product. So if you want to learn about HubSpot, if you want to do your workflows better, if you want to learn about custom objects, if you also even want to just get together with other HubSpot aficionados and folks who are excited about HubSpot in your local community, that's what hugs are about. Because we have topic-based hugs, we have industry hugs, and we also have hugs in geographic locations all across the world. So like anywhere from Brisbane uh, to South London to Tampa, Florida, uh, you can probably find a hug near you. Yeah. Which is the most remote hug? That's a good question. The um, most remote that you know of. Most remote? Yeah. The deli hug is pretty out yeah, there, you yeah. know. Um, we also have, I mean, it depends on where you're located, because remote for me <laughs> and remote for it's you. It's Australia. Are <laughs> those are two different kinds of remote, you know. So, um, I don't know. Take a, when you, after this, zoom in on our map, and you can see maybe like that northern Canadian hug. Yeah. That one little lonesome dot up there. That's actually a really good that's actually a really good way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, that might be the most remote. And what are you most excited here's another one. What are you most excited about all the updates that have just rolled out? I mean the sales hub we launched, that's definitely huge. Um, I think the brand marketing for sales hub. Uh, you know, Sales Hub, the sponsor of, the, of Q4. Yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. that was genius for yeah. the team to do. And that's kind of, you know, that's where folks are at, right? Mm -hmm. You know, how how am I able to get, grow my business better and growing business includes growing revenue, you know? So I think that's pretty exciting. And the tools we're launching to support our partners and our customers with that is really cool. I'm also super excited about ChatSpot, Generative AI. Yeah. You know, I think Darmesh is accurate. You know, Yamini has said this too. Like, AI is not going to replace you, but you're going to be replaced by a person who uses AI. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So, 
If we can support our customers and our community learning more of these tools, we just launched some really cool academy courses on AI. Yeah. I think that's going to be really fun and engaging. So like those types of things, like being cutting edge, being on the leading edge yeah. of what's being launched in the technology space, like HubSpot does that a lot better than almost any other company I've worked for. So, you know, I'm excited about those things. Yeah. I'm more excited about AI because I'm dyslexic, so I can write, I can write better emails. <laughs> Yo, I know, so first thing, my first thing that I used AI for, I got this kind of snarky email from somebody, and I was all like, ChatGPT, help me rewrite this email. And that was my first AI product, yeah. you know? So after that, though, it's been really cool to put I, I always do a pass over with ChatGPT if I have to write a serious email, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that sounds better, way better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually use a, a very recent email that I wrote to Hug Leaders. Yeah. Um, we use it integrated with our chat spot and our content AI. Helped me rewrite a couple of sentences in that email. Yeah. So already in our tools that we as, as HubSpotters use with our customers, like we're using the tools that are launching too. So yeah, I also yeah. think that's really cool. Yeah. And I think I always use it in conjunction with Grammarly too, because like you can sort of say, I want to be a bit more professional, a bit more fun or whatnot. So yeah. Yeah. make this witty. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Make me funny. Yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. Awesome. Well, thanks for catching up and thanks for everything you do too. It's no, awesome. Thanks for everything you do. I was happy to be here. Legend. Go, go. Bye. As we go through, um, there's heaps of people from a lot of partners all around the world here uh, and uh, from different types of walks of life that do different types of things and uh, looks like we've found ourselves a little somebody right here. Uh, Mr. Begg, Mr. Begg. Hello. Mr. White, how are you? How are you? Hello. Thank you very much for coming. Yes. Guys, um, Thanks it's, for coming it's, across it's amazing. I didn't even know you were going to be here at all. At all. It's no. Such a, such a weird circumstance. It's how are you guys enjoying Inbound? It's great. It's a really big uh, improvement from last year. We're yeah. doing great networking, great sessions. I heard um, this one girl, Molly Rigotti, yes. did an amazing session on solution selling. Yes. So. It was legit the bomb diggity. We're bomb really diggity. What was some of the points that she probably brought out uh, in the talk? I wasn't there because I, was I was too busy vlogging. There's another one tomorrow. Another one? What time? Um, yeah. At 1.15 Eastern time. Gotcha. Um, tomorrow would be the... I don't know what day it is. It is Thursday. Right. Thursday. <laughs> but um, carry the one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, but she talked about like focusing on focusing on trying to ask the right questions and go questions early. She has a framework laser with a Z, yep. which is really cool. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I'll bomb it. But the the overall thing was to make sure to go in. You don't have to start your first call with um, with having all the answers, but you should have as many questions as possible to help get to the right solution. Yeah, nice. It's pretty legit. Nice. And have you guys seen anyone else like and that, or somebody that you kind of like looking? Everyone else. But yeah. I have, I have not gone to another session. Is there anyone that you want to see like this year? Ooh, I think there's some really great sessions around AI this year. Um, I think there's a session with Jasper, the Jasper team's yeah. hosting, yeah. and that one is probably the AI session to go to. Um, I think there's a bit of a crew on that one. Do you know Remington, who's the entire crew? Uh, the crew? Uh oh, he's looking it up. I gotta look there's it like up. It's panel style, so yes. one um, of, it should be uh, great. One of them is Maggie, Maggie Kinney Anderson, who is actually an uh, ex HubSpotter, who's yeah. super awesome. Hi, Megan. <laughs> While we're doing that, we just saw Stephen Bartlett. Uh, I don't know too sure if you know him. He's from the UK. He was uh, he's one of the Dragons Den, uh, like the Shark Tank oh, alternative. Yeah. So he's one of the uh, the Dragons there. But he also has a uh, podcast called Diary of a CEO. Oh, and he yeah. has like a really big one. I think he's got like 65 million subscribers. He's pretty huge. Seems to buy and sell companies through the wazoo. Um, huh. Using artificial intelligence to scale your startup. And so it's Megan Kitty, um, Megan Kitty, Anderson, Kareem, Amin, and Lawrence Butler, for both from HubSpot. And then uh, I don't know Pascal or Alex, but it seems like um, this one's a panel. So it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be really good. I think folks need to understand the potential impacts out of just like, creating a piece of content. Yeah, the, well, yeah. that was, that was kind of like, I think the next question I was going to have is is really like, I guess there's a lot of AI that's getting spoken across like a lot of different softwares and platforms. There's a lot of stuff that's like, in my opinion, fairly cosmetic. Yep. Like, hey, we're just kind of ticking a box. Yep. Uh, I guess kind of, I guess with what HubSpot has rolled out and what they're going, what's your comments and thoughts yep. 
uh, I guess generally speaking, yeah. without digging into yeah, yeah. specific softwares or platforms? Yeah, I think um, HubSpot looks like they're doing first pass to try and do a lot of the, on the content, the marketing side, where you know their their talks today were a lot about like content creation. And I think you should really focus on like leveraging those same tools for more ideation, yeah. rather than going straight to like, hey, let's do a whole blog without actually having it edited and written and done yeah. the right way. So I think there's a lot of like potential efficiencies and the right way to do it. Um, but I think some of the other stuff that's really exciting to me is um, the AI chatbot that's that we're gonna have in the service hub, right? Because that's gonna with the, yeah with the chat. I heard yeah. that. It's gonna be so good. so that'll like index all of your content like. I don't know. Not just keywords from the uh, knowledge yeah, yeah, base. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> like, yeah, the tags were like limited or like no subcategories, but really kind of dig in deeper, which will mean that like we'll have to change how we do our knowledge bases. It can't be this really long, all encompassing. It has to be very point and poignant. But um, so that I think is going to be really great. And then um, some of the stuff that they're talking about, like enabling, the more the enablement type AI is going to be pretty cool. Um, so, you know helping fill in information. Like I said, a magic wand moment, this isn't gonna be in there yet, but like imagine how many unnamed forms and workflows you have. Yes. Like the kind, that kind of AI is stuff that they have planned and they're gonna be doing. So like imagine not having to name your workflow by default to start building your workflow. It just renames it and the description fills in with the fields and updates. Like that kind of stuff would be really cool. Hopefully they do it. Wraps up day one of Inbound 2023. We're gonna go grab ourselves a beer, uh, but we'll be back for day two tomorrow where we're gonna go through, see some more things, get inspired, learn a little bit more about RevOps, learn a little bit more about payments and how that's gonna work and hopefully in Australia soon. But that bar has my name written all over it and Dom's too. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yew.